Another week, boys, and another twab. This week at Bungie, we added a new destination for you to hunt for treasure on. The expedition activity is now available on Nessus. We also wanted to remind you that Trials is back next weekend, and you may have noticed a few new craftable weapons dropping from other activities. So with that, let's gather around the bonfire and chat, because we have some details to get into. Weapon crafting updates. With Season 18, we've updated the perk pools for Dares of Eternity weapons, added a new origin trait called Hot Swap, and add the ability for the following weapons to be shared so long as you've unlocked weapon crafting in the Witch Queen. The BXR-55 Battler, the Wastelander M5, Half-Truths, the other half, Parnar Dust, and Retrace Path are all available to be crafted. By the way, we actually have a guide on all of this, guys. If you're interested, we go over how to farm for these deep sites, the most optimal way to do so, because getting these crafted versions of these weapons is definitely worth the grind, guys. We recently reviewed the BXR in its perfected form, and it was so nasty. Now, moving on. Lightfall Collector's Edition. We have had quite a few announcements over the past month, so we we wanted to reshare the Destiny 2 Lightfall Collector's Edition because come on, have you seen it? As we prepare for the arrival of the Witness, the Lightfall Collector's Edition will help Guardians understand the minds of our enemies and hope for what's to come. Gain insight from Empress Kaido into Kallus' psyche. Study Ikora's notes about Osiris' vision of hope on Neptune. But above all else, get your own Puka. The Collector's Edition includes a digital code for Lightfall plus the annual pass. But if you just want the physical goods, we've got you covered with a no game code version of the Collector's Edition. Each version will include a gorgeous Puka statue, which has LED lights, a letter from Zavala, and a whole assortment of goods to prepare you for the upcoming battle. But just watch this video to see for yourself. Oh, look at that! Dude, all right. Dude, I need like a shelf to hang up all this stuff, right? Now, 6.2.0.3, resolved issues. Next week, Hotfix 6.2.0.3 will be released to the world. Below is a list of some of the issues that will be resolved with this Hotfix. Viewing the Valhun exotic ornament in the Eververse menu will no longer incorrectly tell players who own the Six Coyote that they do not own the exotic armor piece. The charge mainly key binding no longer functions inconsistently with the Titan Thunderclap melee when in close ranges of enemies. Thank God! That is a very annoying bug, right? For some reason, it just wouldn't map correctly. Storm Trance will now correctly increase its damage over time when attacking. Oh, okay. I actually just thought the damage was supposed to be that weak. Like, that was an intentional change on Bungie's end. Thank God that's not the case, though, right? Because Storm Trance has been hot garbage in Arc 3.0. Now, 120 Hertz issue. Support for 120 Hertz output option in Crucible on PS5 is currently unavailable due to an issue. It will be available again in a future update. Now, we still have a number of known issues here, including some players spawning outside the room when fighting the War Priest. The Rift Lost Sector is missing triumphs and incorrectly lists shields present. The Robes of Nezirak loses its resonance effect when an ornament is applied to Nezirak's sin. The Arms of Optimacy ornament has misplaced geometry around it, and the Don Core's exotic doesn't appear in collections. Oh, so don't delete those. The Expedition Activity doesn't show any stats in the Activity Summary, and the Xenology Exotic Quest isn't counting progress in playlist activities. Also, repeatable star chart bounties can continue to be purchased when players have a full quest inventory. There was supposed to be a hotfix that went out today as well. I don't see it. However, I do know it needs to address things like the BXR and it not receiving a gold border with that enhanced perk. Some triumph issues. Hopefully that did get resolved today. Outside of that, a final note here from Bungie this week, and that's a wrap on this week's 12 Guardians. We hope you're having fun out there, traversing the high space seas and gathering all the relics you can dream of. Make sure you keep sharing your adventures over on our social so we can celebrate with you. Stay crafty, Guardians. Sam. Pretty short twilight, fellas. Not a lot going on right now. We do have Iron Banner. That's pretty much what's going to be this week. Next week, we do have Trials of Osiris returning, which is pretty interesting, considering we now have Arc 3.0. And I'm actually curious to see how the meta is going to be fleshed out with all these 3.0 subclasses. Now, something completely unrelated. Queen Elizabeth II has died at age 96. I know. Pretty nutty. By the way, if you have not watched the Netflix series on the Queen and the Fam, pretty good, man. I mean, really, really. But at least from that show, and of course the memes out there. She was quite a gangster and she will be missed. And I kind of like put her up there with like Betty White. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.